Good morning, good evening, hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'll be writing an algorithm to determine if a string has all unique characters. Uh, and I'll be writing it firstly in Haskell, as you can see, and then in Python. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get right into it here with the Haskell. So I'm going to call this function unique chars, unique char, even. well, unique chars should be what it's called. And it's going to take a list of characters like that, and it will return a boolean. So in Haskell, uh, the string Harry and the list H, A, R, Y, etc. are equivalent. So that is why it's a list of chars. Um, yeah. So we start off with the empty list, and that will be true because the string, the empty string, does have all unique characters. It doesn't have any, so it, it's true. Uh, it has to have all the, all the characters, which is zero, are true. Uh, and then we'll do it when there is actually something to evaluate, uh, which will have a head and a tail. So again, we'll use Harry as an example. So the string Harry, the head would be H, and the tail would be A, R, R, Y. Uh, so yeah, that would go on. Um, yeah, so we're going to evaluate the tail based on the head. So if the length of all the things in the tail that match the head is equal to zero, then that's what we want because that means that the head is the... That means that the only time the head appears in the string is when it is at the... when it's up for evaluation, so when it's the head of the list. Uh, so if that equals equals zero... I'll put brackets in there so it is clearer. And, so I'm going to use that because that's the and in uh, Haskell and most other languages. And then I'm going to use recursion, so unique chars on the tail. Uh, so it's going to call this, it's going to do this evaluation for everything in the list. So it'll do Harry. So Harry, would that would that that would be true. So then it would go on to Harry. And then it, for A, that would be true. So then, and then it would go on to R, R, Y, and then when it was evaluating this R, this would give false, so it would stop because it would be true, true, false, and as soon as this is false because it's an and, it would return false, the function would return false, so it would be effective. Now, there is a way to speed this up, as this would iterate either the whole way through a list, well, not iterate, it would recur the whole way through a list if it was... Uh, all unique characters, but there are only a set amount of characters. So I will show you how I could have avoided that in Python here. Oh, that's not pep8. Uh, unique. Uh, and take the test string. I spot unique wrong. Uh, yeah, so it takes test strings, its parameters, unique chars. Uh, so then I'm going to take the length of the string, which oh, then is the function that you call on the string. Uh, to get its length, and if that length is greater than 128, then it will return false because 128 is the number of characters that there are, if assuming it's ASCII, uh, then if it's greater than that, it obviously has to be false because if you've used all the characters that exist, then if it's as long as all the characters that exist, it means one has to be repeated. Uh, so yeah, then that means the longest runtime it would ever be is 128. Uh, so yeah, I would then, the actual function will return evaluation of the length of the string against the length of the set of the string, which is, you call list to split it up into the characters and then list and then set is, is a set of that list. So it's probably not the most uh, space uh, the space complexity is probably not the most efficient, but you know, uh, it's it's a solution that will work very effectively. Uh, so yeah, so Harry would the set of Harry is H A R Y, the set of characters in Harry. Uh, so the length of the string is five, and the length of the set of the characters is four. So obviously it would return false. However, if the input string was H A R Y. Uh, the set is H-A-R-Y, so this would return true, and the function would return true. So yeah, that's the function, it's uh, effective. Uh, so yeah, I've written one in Haskell, uh, but 
both of these will be on GitHub. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, leave a comment uh, with a problem you want to see me try and solve if you so desire. And uh, like or dislike this video if you are also that way inclined. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.